Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install the latest version of MySQL Server and MySQL Workbench on Windows 11 machine. All right, so let us get started. Just open the browser. You can open any browser. Here I have opened the Chrome browser over here. In a new tab, just go ahead and type install MySQL on Windows 11 and then hit enter and go ahead and click on this first link that is download mysql installer it will head over to the mysql community downloads page and here you can see this is the latest version of mysql as of now that is 8.0.43 next here you can see the version selection so in a drop down just select the latest version of mysql so in our case 8.0.43 and then here we are going to install the mysql on windows l1 machine that's why i select the operating system windows over here and then here you can see there are two options to install the mysql server and we are going to use the second one we are not going to use the web community we are going to use this second one okay and you can see it is around 354 mb next go ahead and click on download button to download this msi installer and here you can see mysql community downloads and it is asking for login and sign up so don't sign up or login just click on this link no thanks just start my download you can see here it is starting downloading the mysql installer just wait a second well notice here the download is completed next let us open this file in a folder and next go ahead and double click on this It will ask do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device just click on s i notice here my mysql installer is installing just wait a second well it will again ask do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device just click on s i notice here the screen choosing a setup type well, we are going to install MySQL Server as well as MySQL Workbench. That's why we are going to choose the custom option over here. If you want to install only MySQL Server, then you can choose Server only option over here. Okay. So we are going to install both. So just click on the custom over here and then go ahead and click on next. And then here you can select the products. So here just expand this MySQL Servers and then MySQL Server. And then expand this, and here you can see MySQL Server 8.0.43 and for 64 bit machine. Next, just just you know, click on this, it will drag into products to be installed section. Next, we need to also install the MySQL Workbench. For that, go to the applications and then MySQL Workbench, and then expand this, and then select this, and just click on this arrow. Okay. And if you want to install mysql cell then you can also expand this and then okay and then select and you click on this arrow and it will go to products to be installed section so we are not going to install it so i am going to reverse it okay so i am going to install these two products so we have just dragged into products to be installed section okay next we are good to go to the next step so just click on the next button over here and here you can see installation the following products will be installed next go ahead and click on execute button to install these two products so you can also see the progress over here all right the mysql server installation is completed next it is installing mysql workbench just wait a second It is 99% and then 100% complete. Next, go ahead and click on the next button. Before that, if you want to you know see the more details about the installation, you can go ahead and click on show details. Okay. Next, go ahead and click on the next button over here. Next, here we need to do the configuration of this MySQL server product. Next, go ahead and click on next button over here. And here we need to select the configuration type and networking. So here we have option config type. You can see development computer, server computer, dedicated computer. So just choose the development computer over here. Next go to the connectivity action and here just keep TCP IP selected and then port 
3306. So this is the default port that MySQL Server uses. And if you want to change the port, you can change over here. But most of the developers keep the default port as it is. So let us keep as it is. Click on the next button. Here is a authentication method screen. Let's keep this recommended option as selected. Next, click on next button. Here we need to configure the password for root user. So by default, MySQL creates a admin as a root user and we have to configure the password for that user. So here you can give any password that you want. And make sure to remember this root user password. Okay. Next, click on the next button over here. Next, we have a Windows service screen and here we have option configure MySQL server as a Windows service. So just keep as selected and then here Windows service name MySQL 80 just keep as it is. Start the MySQL server at the system startup. So whenever you start your computer then MySQL server will automatically start. But we are not going to start it because it will take a lot of you know memory. If you are not using the MySQL server then also it will start when you you know start the computer whenever you use mysql you can just manually start it okay next run windows service as standard system account and then click on next and then here server file permissions just keep this selected as it is and then click on next next apply configuration so we need to execute all these configuration steps for that click on execute button it will execute all these configuration steps one by one so it will take some time just wait a moment all right the configuration for mysql server was successful click finish to continue click on finish and then product configuration configuration complete you can see the status click on next and then installation complete click on finish Perfect. We have successfully installed MySQL Server and MySQL Workbench. I notice here MySQL Workbench is launched over here. Next, maximize this and then click on this MySQL connections. So by default, the connection was established using root user and here just enter the root user password. I notice here we have successfully logged into MySQL workbench next go ahead and create one database just to verify that the mysql server is working as expected so here just type the command create database followed by the database name demo and then select this command and then execute it and here you can see the log create database demo one row affected next in order to verify that go to the schemas and then refresh schemas and there we go a demo database successfully created Next, what we will do, we will configure the MySQL server bin directory to the path so that we can also access MySQL server from the command prompt. So go to the this PC, go to the C drive, go to the program files and then search for MySQL and then go to MySQL server a.o and then go to bin and just select, I mean just copy this path. Okay, and go to the start menu again and here just search for environment variables just type env and click on this edit the system environment variables click on environment variables and then go to the system variable section go to the path click on edit and then click on new button over here and just paste this path okay next click on ok and then click on ok ok perfect next let us open the command prompt just type cmd and open the command prompt over here and here just type mysql hyphen hyphen version hit enter and there we go mysql version 8.0.43 it means we have successfully installed mysql server in order to log into the mysql server from the command prompt just type the command mysql hyphen u and then user root and then hyphen p hit enter and then type the password hit enter and there we go we have successfully connected to the mysql server using command prompt next in order to check the databases just type show databases 
and there we go you can see a demo database so this is the database just we have created using mysql workbench it means we have successfully installed mysql server and mysql workbench on windows l1 machine all right great i will see you in the next video